everybody. Welcome to Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're continuing down the old Doherty D's Nuts December. I skipped day two because it was bullshit. I'm not spending, like, I got to get to the stuff. I'm like so far behind on their vlogs. I got to finish this New York thing. So we got to get it done, right? We got to do it together with my alpaca sweater on. So we're going right to day three where some shit went down, I guess we'll talk about it. As she continues on, like it just keeps getting worse. She's home now and there's a, like a ton of shit I need to talk about. So before we get to that, we got to spin the wheel. We got to give a prize away because that's what we're doing for members. Any tier for the whole month of December. I'm giving away a lot of shirts and it's awesome. Let's go. Yeah, baby. late that's why i'm not dancing a lot julie york you win a prize reach out to me josh at the dad challenge podcast.com shirt size address and i'll hook you up let's get to the snark so we left off with them coming back from the circus and having uh, a 20 hour plus day where they woke up at 3 a.m to get to the airport for six, gong show, kids are unhappy, meltdowns galore, and yet Harley, who's flying with ear problems and had surgery after New York, and just no wonder she had tons of meltdowns, was probably in pain the whole weekend, just garbage. Day, day two, we, which we skipped, it's because it's garbage, literally they took photos in the rain, and the photos are bad. I don't know if they paid for that. If they did, I'd get my money back. And then they went to M&M's and spent like $500 on M&M's. Shit, that's, that's the whole thing. They just did nothing. So now they're going to a game, I think, and all this kind of stuff. So let's, 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 let's listen. I, uh, pray for me. Hi, everyone. It's Alicia with the Dafferty Dozen. You're so tacky and I hate you Damn, you are so dumb Put the damn white claw down And put away those thumbs Stop eating your kids' donuts And food that's always cold They don't need another snack or tea They need a mom who's not an asshole Hey ho, your thumbs look like toes I cannot unsee Somebody tell this woman You don't need any more fucking groceries Okay Pam's ovaries and floor fries I bet they taste the same Oh by golly stop vlogging All the shitty things You do Okay Stop! I am running out of Christmas songs, okay? So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's make some Christmas songs up, I guess. All right, let's go. And we are in New York City with our 12 kids on vacation. You lost your voice, and now everything's worse. Great! Christmas in New York, doing all, <laughs> all of the Christmas If she's overtired, imagine how tired our kids are. Experiences in New York City. And today we have another fun day. Let's go, but first, coffee that's not coffee that's a frappuccino you dumbass i ordered us breakfast from stella's pancake bar was that 88 dollars for pancakes i mean you gotta i mean you're on vacation you gotta eat i get that so i mean what are you gonna do why don't you go out for breakfast isn't that way better i guess not i mean yeah with 18 people it's hard to go you know but you can make reservations and go have a seat and eat breakfast i guess i don't know this one i'm kind of torn on because yeah, whatever. Okay. Holy shit. Those are some stacks of pancakes. There's no way they're gonna eat all that. Holy shit balls. There's breakfast, it smells amazing. Stop talking with your voice, please, okay? Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. I am going to- Oh my God. New York has not been healthy for you, Alicia. What did you do? You know that one woman in Home Alone 2 where she's like, where he's like lost in New York and she's like, hey, honey, that's this. That's the person. 
Restraighten all of our hair because the rain yesterday ruined it. These pancakes are amazing. Okay. <laughs> She's always like, these pancakes are amazing. And then right before she eats anything, she, you don't see it. <laughs> but you, she drinks the coffee, right? But not the pancake, because she didn't eat the pancake, because she doesn't eat. I don't know how the skeleton, I don't know how Skeletor over here survives. I. If she goes to the doctor, they're going to take blood. Like, this is coffee. There's coffee coming out of your blood. Call an ambulance. So part of the reason we come to New York City is to see our friends, Bob Boya and Diane Murphy, and they dropped off presents for the kids. So we're going to open those now. There's something going on here. I'm sorry. It's weird. Also, here's my conjecture on why they travel within the state. Because, and I'm not sure this is a thing. It could be. I know it is in Ontario. If you're fostering or adopting of kinship, Especially with the kinship, with adopted kids, they are your kids. For all intents and purposes, if they are legally adopted, they're your kids. Your name is on their birth certificate. It's all changed. For as far as the law is concerned, you can do whatever you want with them. They are your children, right? Within the law, you know what I mean? Legally. Um, like they are as if you birthed them, but not Nevada and Deshaun. They are kinship. And they can't travel out of state without mom's permission. If Alicia and their mom or dad or whoever have problems... And she can say, I don't want them going. She can say they're not allowed to leave the state or the country. So something tells me that might be the reason they stay in. So the Florida trip, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Alicia's going to have to like grease some palms or something to say, I need these kids to go to Florida with me, right? These kids like, and the kids probably want to go too, right? But if the mom says no, she has to get right. She has to get it signed off to go. So if you're watching Nevea and Deshaun's mom, you do have a little bit of power left. If you don't want her to continue to use your kids for her financial gain, you do have some power. I wonder if she knows she has the power to say, I don't want them on camera, right? There is some kind of agreement in here, in place here. And I hope to God she does sue me someday so that I can ask her in discovery. Are they under contract? What is the agreement with their mom that you have? Because she has to answer that question, just so you're aware. Okay, these are the suitcases with some of the presents. Great, she sounds like Colleen Ballinger and Miranda saying, <laughs> and wears the same lipstick, too. So. Why did they get gifts? For what reason? Okay. Just what these kids need. More shit they're going to throw out and not be thankful for. Real great. Bodai. Just hold your prize. Just hold this, okay? Act yeah. yeah. like you're in prison. Uh, Harley yeah. is in the next. Did the kid just say act like you're in prison? <laughs> I don't know. Is that what is that? Is that? Where she cuts shit is weird. Then just hold this. Don't open it. Wait till everyone gets their bag. Just don't. Who cares? It's just like the food. Let me take a picture of it, and then it's cold. Then you can eat it. I think these kids have never had a hot meal in their life. That's kind of sad. Jason. Oh, my gosh. These are heavy. Because they're books of which these kids will not read because all they do is play video games. So, yeah. I said it. Harley is having a moment. There you go. There it is again. Harley's having a moment. You guys are hearing this, right? Harley is probably in absolute pain because she flew in and her ears are... I'm a guy... I hate flying because when I land, my ears, it's hit or miss. 50% of the time, I'm like, I can be in pain for days, okay? Sometimes I get lucky and I can I, I can regulate and pop the ears, but it's really hard for me to do it because I have really bad ears, just like Harley. And she goes in for surgery in a couple of days. And so she's just like, I'm oh, just having a moment. Is she just having a moment? Sounds like she's had a moment for the entire time. So maybe you should have postponed your trip until her surgery was complete so she wouldn't be in pain. Hey, that sounds like a good plan. No, because you know why she doesn't do that? It's because money matters more than her kid's safety. That's why. Four-year-old moment. It's not a four-year-old moment. She's got probably immense amount of pain. Dash. Oh. It's because they're literally books. Thanks for the books that we're not going to read. <laughs> Okay, we got it. Hand them out. Oh my god. Okay, let me take your picture. Josh, you might need help. No, we got it. Did like Patrick smash his on the ground? That's how you open it. Thank you, Bree. Oh. <laughs> and none of them were like, oh, yeah, books, coloring books. I mean, coloring books in the 80s were bomb because we didn't have 
Nintendo Switches and shit like that. We had the color. Now they're like, oh, thanks for this shit I'm never going to use. And there's 101 ways to skin a deer, whatever they got. Even they can't even have like normal, like you you have to wear matching everything. Alicia, stop doing this. It's silly. And everybody hates you for it. Life skills for tweens. One hundred and one hilarious jokes for eleven-year-old kids. Bodie's not eleven; he's like five. <laughs> They're just dumping it. So now they have like twelve boxes of Crayola. <laughs> That'll go over well in the hotel room. Oh, <laughs> Guys, so bad. Oh my god, there's books in here. Where are the toys? These kids, are these poor kids, because it's not their fault, but this is hilarious. Imagine Bob and Diane watching them open this, like, I can't wait to see it. And then they're watching this, they're like, we're not doing a show with these kids. Or let's do a show with these kids because this shit's gonna be crazy. None of them have voices. Where? What the hell? This is, this is, these kids are so tired. Oh my awesome. god! I got fun! I got tired! Come on! We got TV! Come on! Come on! Is that awesome? I got fun! Listen, it's a song. Come on! Come on! Listen, it's a song. I don't, we're gonna have to pay for overweight bags on the way back too, but that's okay. Josh's like, damn it! You know, for sure, they threw these in the dumpster on the way out. Hard pencils and pet with a shot James is saying something and she's not even listening. You're dumb. Your kids... This pisses me off because they can't even have a moment ever without it all being filmed for you. These Look at this. This is the example right here of everything that just is so wrong with family vlogging. She's like, you got presents. You need to open them on camera. I need to sell this to everybody. This is just like... These kids don't have a moment in their day that is not filmed. They go to school, it's the only time they get away from vlogging. B- hear that again, ready? When they go to school, it's the only time they're not filmed in their lives. Before they go to school, they're probably filmed getting on the bus sometimes. When they get home, they're filmed getting off the bus. Then every night, it's like, here's snack, or they're getting home from school, and then we're doing this thing, or this, and that. Right, and then every weekend, it's this. And then even when she has a one-on-one moment, it's filmed. The only escape these children have is school. And something tells me, I had someone reach out to me. They wanted to stay anonymous because they didn't even tell me who they were. So take this with a grain of salt. It could be true. It could not be true. But there was a child who had a problem. And they told the school about this problem. One of Alicia's children. And it was pretty bad, this thing that went down. And she was going to get in trouble for this thing. And so what she did was she took that kid out of school and put them in a different school. Now that is conjecture. I don't know if it's true. Okay? But that is what someone told me. From this area. But it makes sense. Right? Because she doesn't want to be held accountable for something that she's done. So she just moves them to a different school. But school is their only escape. And something tells me in the future, if they get a show or whatever the case may be, none of these kids are going to be in school anymore. Their entire lives is going to be content. And we're hearing from Colin and everybody else, Johnny K Plus 8, from Roll Loss, from all these people who did all these shows. And none of them had a good outcome. None of them. And she wants nothing but that for her children. Oh, Bob and Diane, kiss my ass. You give them the show. Hey, look at this. I love it. Oh, oh my God. The camera is crazy. That's so big. That's a big ass box of crayons. Holy shit. Is there even that many colors? Is this not weird, you guys? That list is just sitting there. Kids are opening the gifts and she's just like this. Awesome. You're crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. White Claw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's that not weird to anybody else? <laughs> oh, hurry up. <laughs> it's COVID. In this room right now. <laughs> I'm saying. So apparently, pro tip: there's RSV going on. Everybody's sick all the time. 
Everybody's getting crazy sick. But did you know that you, if you have a humidifier in your home, in your bedroom or wherever you sleep, where you or like your home in general, if you can humidify your home, you will get way less sick. I always thought it was the opposite. But the dry air actually makes it worse for your system. So humidify your shit. It'll help. Yeah. Don't humidify shit. You know what I'm saying? Just like when I say your shit, I mean like your house. Well, I got this. Is she just completely ignoring James? Like, he's trying to talk to her and she's completely ignoring him. So thoughtful to each kid. I got cards. Interests. Yeah, man. So, she's so thoughtful to each kid's interests. What, crayons? Okay, cool, thanks, Bob and Dan. Did Bob and Diane have no kids of their own? Or grandchildren? Like, who are Bob and Diane? So Bob Boyette, known for Family Matters, Partners. He's a producer, 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 which is just a fancy way of saying, here's some money. I want to make money. They don't actually, they're not creative. They just fund it, in my opinion. So he did the musical, executive producer is Bob Boyette, is executive producer. Uh, Fuller House, so that's the recent one he's executive producer on. Neither Miller or Boyette is married, and neither has any children of their own. They do have dogs, Chinese Sharpays. Miller's is named Billy for Billy Wilder. Boyette has a whole brood. One is called Spielberg, and another is named Lucas. It's quite telling. Okay, I don't know if they're trying to live their life now through the Doherty dozen, which is really weird to me. But they don't. Ha this guy doesn't have any children, but makes family. Content. Quite interesting, actually. It changes things a little, right? Now, not not saying to be creepy. I don't think that he's like a creepy guy. I just feel like this guy. That this guy. That I just feel like Bob now has no legacy to leave, no children to leave his wealth to, nothing. Doesn't have any grandchildren or children. He has dogs. And then it, it almost feels like he's trying to be these kids' grandfather. Isn't that weird? And Alicia's like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds good. It's a bit weird, right? I would love to know the history of this connection. Please. Let it come out someday. How they had these people connected. It's not even candy in here? <laughs> Who are these people? Those sons of bitches. Bob, where's my candy? You know what, Bob and Diane, good for you. You know that these kids didn't need any more damn candy. So, good for you for getting them wholesome gifts. Like, I know I'm making fun of these people or whatever, but this is actually great. This is probably the best gift these kids have ever gotten. And it's because it's shit that they need. Books and crayons and creative shit. Not garbage that they're going to throw out. And they're going to throw it out. So sad. Oh, Bob, do you watch this show? Reach out to me if you do. I have some questions. Was that Alicia? <laughs> she can try out for Wicked Witch of the North or something. Got, 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 got to laugh, Bob and Diane. Got, 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 got to bankroll my new show. Got, 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 got. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Alicia. Get to the next thing. And they're not even like, they're just picking up each other. She's just putting it in one big pile and they all just... Does this look like kids who take care of anything or appreciate anything? No, that sucks. It really sucks for Bob and Diane. Probably put a lot of work and effort into this or had their assistants do it or whatever. For this to just throw it all in a big pile and just, just like color in the book. It's not even reading. You're just coloring in a book. It's not even a coloring book. It's a reading book and you're just drawing in it. Like at this point, I'd be like, as a dad, I'd be like, hey, these guys gave you some really seriously thoughtful gifts. This is the only time I'd force these kids to sit down. Everybody, what do you say to Bob and Diane? Thank you. Does this happen? I hope so. Okay, and then you better 
put your kids in a line and do a roll call to thank Bob and Diane for this amazing weekend. These people probably shelled out tens of thousands of dollars for this weekend for these kids. And I don't know why. If it's a show, sure, maybe he's trying to like, you know, show them because that's what you do. You got to, you got to, you wine and dine them and then they sign in the dotted line. That's basically how anything works in high business. Is that what it is? Is he thinking like, is he trying to, is he trying to groom them into a show? Is he trying to convince them to go with him? Is she getting multiple offers from other people? I don't understand what's happening. Well, scratch art. What's up? Well, what do you want to do? Oh, yeah, we'll open ours while you guys are. <laughs> now, everybody, let's all say thanks. Right? Am I right? More matching shit. Just what the Doherty does and needs more matching clothing. Wow, are you going to draw some pictures? Notice how the two bio kids that are sitting there, they get the most attention. They say something to mom, she's like, oh my god, it's the you're saying the most important thing in this room. James over there like, look at all the shit I got, mom. And completely ignores him. He doesn't even effing exist right now. That bugs me. Yeah. Oh my god. Where is Nevea? Oh, did I miss her? Is she even in this room right now? <laughs> I didn't see Nevea. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Nevea's like, I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna sleep in. Nobody talk to me. I need my beauty rest. Piss right off. I hate y'all. Oh my god. They're like, okay, yeah, cool. Hey, <laughs> Look at these kids. None of them. I, I, uh, if you gave Weston like. A broken pencil he'd be like thank you like this I, so when you see these kids and it's not their fault okay but when you compare them to your children you feel a lot better because man i'm raising kids who are super thankful what they have like i my kids are very 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 thankful from day one it's always been thank the person if we're at the store and i buy the thing and we're still, I'm like, say thank you. I always tell my kids to be thankful. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. But being thankful is is, hum is, is, is humility. It's humble. And people who are super thankful for everything are liked more. That's something you should really, really embed into your children. To be uber thankful no matter what the situation. Okay? Always be thankful. Always apologize if you're wrong. Always apologize if you're not wrong. Just be Canadian about it. I'm saying if you're always just like, I don't know how that it works better when you're a nice person and when you are thankful for things, people will like you more, right? So she by her not teaching her children these simple these simple basic concepts of humanity, she's failing them. Well, no, there's different sizes. This is crazy. It's like what are we, it's almost 10 minutes into this thing? What did, what did you call, guys, can you say thank you oh. to Bob and Diane? Thank, you, Bob. thank the Lord you did it. Okay, we are going, let's try the elevator first. I know she won't do that. Well, I have a stroller, so. Didn't they wear this shit yesterday? So, there's a problem with the elevator, so we're all walking down 15 flights of stairs right now. I thought you had a lower floor. You didn't you say you started on a lower floor because they didn't have any room, so you, they moved you? That's interesting. Also, good. Y'all need some stairs. At least you don't have to go up 15 flights of stairs. <laughs> Imagine those kids going up 15 flights of stairs. <laughs> Who has are you going to film going down the stairs? Are you? This was not part of the itinerary today. <laughs> okay, here's what you can do. Not film it, asshole. This is crazy to me that she films this. Lace is out. And some of us walked down 15 flights of stairs, and Alex, Josh, and Nevaeh had to walk down 30 flights of stairs, but we are gone. 30? So you kids on the 30th floor? You said you were on lower floors. <laughs> Holy shit. Serves you right. That's karma, right in your ass. Here. Headed to see. Oops, sorry. I wonder if you get comped, like you get like a discount, because you can't use elevators. Is that 30 flights of stairs? What if you want to go to your room? The brackets. It is? Just 
just the street. It's a street. You're on the street. Okay. I'm trying to find the line for the Rugheads. This is how crazy Rockefeller Plaza is in December. If I was going to New York, okay, and I would literally go out and take amazing shots of everything and put together like a little sweet thing. She's here. We're in New York, but here's the stairs. Here's Rockefeller Center. <laughs> I, didn't, I want to see it. You are so bad at this, Alicia. You went to New York City and you don't even show it. Yeah, they're digital. You're digital. Burn. Still in money. Thanks. Thanks. Almost there. <laughs> Con candy, Christmas spectacular rockets. <laughs> Must be popcorn. Here. Yeah, why don't you f and help? Put the camera down and help, you dumbass. Okay. Oh no, you're stuck. <laughs> okay, look at me. Oh, her sick voice makes me even more cringe. <laughs> it's like the tour of bathrooms of New York City, with a. Well, at least we got to see something because you're not showing anything. And now we got popcorn and. Waters for the kids since there's no line right now. You couldn't bring water in a backpack? The 9,000 bottles of water you bought? Couldn't bring a couple of those? Okay, cool. What a wasty McWasterson, right? Who's Bob? All right, uh, Bob's right in front of us. We just got done watching the Rockets. We are leaving to go do some more stuff. The She's pissed she couldn't film the Rockets. show was. Amazing. It was like captivating. 90 minutes of constant awe. Constant awe? Constant awe. I'm in constant awe of how much shit you feed your kids. Oh, the... Was doing what? Again, Alicia's just like you're in New Manhattan. Show me some shit. Oh yeah, really? That's nice. I'm not gonna show you what he was saying though. That's insane. And they have studios to get to FAO Schwartz. Of course you're going to FAO Schwartz. Where are you gonna put the shit that you, you the kids just got bags of gifts and now you're going to FAO Schwartz. You're an FAO Schwartz. Burn. <laughs> Cool, film this person in front of you. Okay. What a weirdo. All right, got a cover in the toy store. All right, we made it. I'm against kids on leashes. But if you got this many, everybody's on a leash. What happened if with like the big sign from Toy Story and shit? Or the big sign from uh, Home Alone? Yeah, they're here. Is this the line? Oh! Okay. Cool, you go to New York on the busiest weekend. <laughs> FAO Schwartz has a three hour line to get in. The line to get into FAO Schwartz is too long. Okay. This is an amazing vlog, everybody. Lines! Look, we're going down some stairs! Here's some crayons! Yay! I gotta see the freaking unlike on this one. What's the unlike on this one? Yeah, 1. 1.7 thousand downvotes on this. Over 50% downvotes. <laughs> that was a weird laugh, right? It's human nature for people to be jealous of others. So when people look at these sweet kids getting this stuff, they will be jealousy. They will be jealousy. I get it. But if you look at what they've been through, I just don't get that. We have three little ones that have been through. This person looks like a zombie. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, where's Nevaeh during the gift opening? Where's Nevaeh? Here, I didn't see her either. Can you please give these kids a few days off from filming? Just enjoy some time together as a family. Yeah. And then zombie here, Lucy Hall lady. It's so funny that people tell her what to do. Her kids... Her kids, if they don't want her to film them, I'm sure they would tell her. <laughs> she makes money doing this. They would not be in New York if she wasn't filming them. It's kind of the point, asshole. They shouldn't be doing it. It's exploitation. At least you admit it, though. At least you damn admit it. You damn dammer. So we're going to walk this way. Ooh, Alicia's well, got a goiter on her forehead. I'm All right there. <laughs> Your forehead has a head on it. Dogs because I promised Jordan corn dogs in New York. Mom, can I? So instead of going to FAO Schwartz, we're going to get corn dogs. Mom. Why is Zoe in the stroller? Okay. Um, 
Is that shit load bearing for that heavy of a kid? You know what? We did FNL. Okay, your kid's trying to talk to you. I know you do. We did FNL shorts last time we were here, so it's okay. Um, we just wanted to look around. These kids are so bored and tired. They came out of that show and nobody was like, Oh, that was amazing! Oh, no. They're all like, oh, I'm going next. Corn dongs. Corn dongs. Fun fact, Westy calls them corn dongs. Ka-chink! Oh, he didn't do the ka-chink. What am I hearing? Are you in a jet? Don't go near there, you get struck with lightning. I think this is the one with the corn dogs. What is your problem? Let's see. Cool, so you got a shitty corn dog? They're gonna eat it now. That'll be nine hundred dollars, please. Oh yeah. Just sold it. Everybody gets corn dogs, someone can I have something different? I you don't even need to put them in bags, yeah. Yeah, I do. You know I, mean? I do. Need to do that. <laughs> They're gonna eat it. Is that like bacon yeah. up there? Ooh, I'm hungry right now. She cleaned the corn dog guy out. Hey, corn dog. It's okay. It's okay. It's the same shit you get at the grocery store. Maybe it was homemade corn dog. Cool, but it's just a shitty corn dog. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. Oh, there's Nevea. Finally, man, that zit, Alicia. Chill, okay? The zit's got its own zip code. Zip code, yeah? Sorry. I smell like that. I smell like a food Probably better than dog piss. Burn. <laughs> we're halfway through this shit. What else are you gonna show us? Alright, we're coming back to the hotel for a bit before we leave for the basketball game. Holy shit, they're days. These are packed days, man. Oh my god, that's a lot. <laughs> I mean, I would be pissed if I stayed at a hotel that's 50 stories tall and I couldn't take an elevator. How can all the elevators be broken at once? Josh, we should get coffee. Oh, I need candy. I'm in my stretcher. We're already left. Hurry. Hurry up. 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 I've uncovered a lot of family vlogs in this channel. I've watched a lot. And, 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 and never have I ever seen anything so chaotic and shitty in my life. And I cannot believe she has over a million subscribers for this shit. There's no thought, nothing put into this. Nothing. It's just walking around and shit. Okay, we're headed to the next game. Here's going too. It might be an extra ticket for that. <laughs> She'll show you this thing for five minutes, but won't show you New York. Okay, nice. Holidays at the Palace. This confectionery masterpiece is a okay. None of these, they're wearing t-shirts in December. Josh is wearing a winter coat. Their kids are wearing t-shirts in the winter in the city. Oh my God. Around the front seat. security guards like I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. What it looks like? What did he say? Holy shit! Just go! They show up 40 minutes early before a game so they can run around outside New York. That's safe. Uh, we're trying to find our entrance. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Even the freaking escalator's not working. Same. You deserve it. Not working escalator. Well, now it's just stairs. Still works. Okay, my elevator. Really smooth. It's always they're having a meltdown because she hates elevators. 
Maybe Zoe like <laughs> did some of the elevators at the hotel. <laughs> they didn't work anymore. Number three, I think. Number three? They have a suite at the basketball game. Holy shit. Yes. I, don't, I, I never understood suites. I get it for like business. You come out, you're having a business party. I get that. But who wants to watch a game from like the nosebleeds that cost 10 times more than good seats? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, you were correct. You got Basketball is so exciting to watch, actually. Yeah. Like, look, they're ants playing basketball. Yeah. It's funny because this is a lot of people's dreams, and these kids don't give a shit. They're like, "What's the, where's the food? That's what I'm here for. Like, she just doesn't even do things her kids want to do. Oh, you ever taken a kid, like, four or five-year-old to a full-blown sports game before? Has he ever done, you ever done that? Yeah. It doesn't really work well, because they don't give a shit. Well, rented it. Whoa. I think they are two hours early, because games won't start till about 7. They sh showed up at 5 p.m. Were you looking at Frick? Look at the vegetables. Look at all the wine. Oh, my gosh. I thought... Oh, they're drinking. Yeah. No, that's ice. Okay, okay. Unlimited ice. Ah! Oh, more wine. Ah, uh, there it is. And beers. 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 Right. Okay. And what's this? Cups. Okay. Ew, glass cups? We only use paper or plastic. These assholes. Okay, what do you say? The water is... <laughs> the mom's over there like cracking. Look, get this shit into me, man. These kids are pissing me off. Now we know where she gets it. You know what I'm saying? Laces out. We're in the fridge. She has this blue blood white Grandma's like, get it, I need this one. Oh, shit. Hi, baby. Hi. Look at her. She's like, and Josh's like, do you, have a, do you have an opener or something for this? Do you have a straw? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? Who was that? Dinner is here. We have chicken fingers, mm -hmm. it's in a blanket, mm -hmm. mac and cheese. Ooh, nice. Nice. So, so Ooh, and holy shit. And a hot dog bar. Oh my god. Yeah. That's how you enjoy a game right there. This is the only time she should be feeding this shit to her kids. But this is like the third time this day they're getting bullshit. So, you know, it, normal people consider this a treat. You go to a game, you get some treats, right? My, my daughter loves going to Blue Jays games. She does love the Blue Jays. She also loves the popcorn, right? It's because we don't go get a tub of popcorn every day, right? So when we go to the Blue Jays game, it's like her favorite thing. She also loves... Springer, it's like her favorite player in the world. This, again, it's it's a treat and it looks amazing, but this is literally what they eat every single day, five times a day. I told you you'd get your chili cheese dog, Patrick. It was, um, I can't say his name. Dad, what was that basketball player's name? I can't believe Vince doesn't even know his name. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Dad, what was that basketball player's name? Armani Stottlemyre. Armani Stottlemyre. Armani Stottlemyre. Armani Stottlemyre. These kids eat too much. I'm sorry, man. It's so sad. Because these kids are going to have a rough life. Really even hard to say things. But man, it's, it's crazy how much food these people eat. Honey, sometimes you got to take a knife and kind of stick it in to get some out. No, you put it on an angle and you hit it on the top where the 57 is. Angle. Let the air get into it. She got copyright strike for putting this in there, for sure. Tonight's matchup features the Cleveland Cavaliers. And your New York Game just started. Holy shit, more food. No one's eating sushi. Even though it's the best part of it. And the seafood got here. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. This is the only thing I'm jealous that they're eating right now. Oh, and none of them are gonna touch it. This is the best thing they could be eating, and they're like, I had a hot dog with shit on it. This is terrible. Who eats giant shrimps? Oh. It's because I'm hungry right now. Let's just not even watching the game. It's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. She's just filming her kids eat. This is literally a basketball game and she's showing Harley smashing spoons together. Oh my 
god. She's got rhythm, though. Uh. You're literally at one of the most exciting things in the world, and look what she's filming. She's, this is shit. Oh, okay. Notice how nobody eats the vegetables. <laughs> the fruit they eat some fruit though. She said, "I'm rubbing ice in my head to make it feel better." So it sounds like she's probably been in pain for three days. Wow, good thing you took these kids. To Why don't you split it up? Take kids somewhere else that they want to go. Take the older kids to the game. Right? There's a million things you can do in New York with your kids. There's a million museums, there's wax museums, there's tours. There's so much fun shit to do in New York. Take them to a movie. I don't know. Anywhere else. Split them up because these kids don't want to be here. It's bullshit, man. I spent like 15 grand in one of these rooms and none of the kids are even watching the game. Alicia definitely is not watching the game. Here are the... Welcome to MSG. That shit does look good though, not gonna lie. Madison Square Gardens knows how to do it, but you know how expensive this shit is? What are these pants that she bought them? Okay, let's go. She so just asked the guy how much money did you make? A lot, he said. <laughs> A lot. I just came and watched a Knicks game. I didn't have to do anything in this room. I got paid to watch a Knicks game and eat a copious amount of delicious food. Your mom is an idiot. Yeah. Oh, no way, I'm taking the elevator. Ah, take the stand. Kids got a huge gash in his forehead too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why does she come into the hotel? You wait till your kids get in, then you go in. All right? That's just simple parenting. Yeah. All right, I'm running these kids through baths and showers because we leave for the airport first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you for spending the day. How? How? How How are you doing that? You have four baths, max, and you have 12 kids. Good luck. Stay with us in New York City with our 12 kids. You're strong, you're beautiful, you're loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. You are haggard, and I'm not proud of you. That was the shittiest vlog I've ever seen. Are you out of your damned mind? Of all the vlogs I've covered so far, that was absolutely the most, that was absolutely the worst one of all. That was so shit. She went to a game of all games and literally just filmed kids jumping around full of sugar. Yeah, you're so good at this, Alicia. Again, the shelf life of the Doherty dozen, it's its already past its peak, that's for sure. Like we're at, like we're on the way down now, for sure. Because it's just, nobody wants to watch this bullshit. She's going to have to start getting creative and more provocative. That's the scary thing about this. She's going to have to start getting crazier and do crazier things to bring attention to her channel. I don't know what she's going to do next, but it's going to get crazy. And that's so bad for these kids. Take a deep breath. I'll <sighs> back or whatever, llama or whatever it is. You guys are amazing, incredible, valuable. Don't you forget it, don't fly flare. Oh, it's been a long one. I will see you tomorrow.